All right, let's program the Aqualux ProSoft control valve. So the very first thing we want to do is get the time of day to 12.01 p.m. So the way you adjust the clock is you just press and hold either the up or the down arrow until you get this TD, which means time of day in the left corner. And now you can move the time up and down. So we want to get it to 12.01 p.m. And note that only p.m. is shown. If you're in a.m., you won't see a.m. at all. So we get to 12.01 p.m. And then this button right here, the other button as we call it, is our enter button. So we press enter, and now we've got 12.01 p.m. Now what we want to do, while it's 12.01 p.m., and it doesn't matter, it'll toggle between the gallons remaining and the time of day, don't worry about that. As long as it's still 12.01, we press the up and the down arrow at the same time, and hold that for a couple of seconds, and we get into the master programming menu. So the first setting we want is DF gallons, so we want to press enter on gallons, there's a few different options. Gallons is what we want, so we press enter. The valve type, uh, this is a 5810, so we want to choose 5810 and press enter. The, um, with these control valves, you can do uh, different configurations. This is a downflow, so a DF, and we want to operate it in the 2B, which is the 2 backwash mode, which is uh, a way to backwash the softener so that it will limit the amount of hardness breakthrough that you could possibly get. So it's a more effective way of operating the softener. So DF2B, enter. For CT, we want the value to be FD. For capacity, this is going to vary from softener to softener, and uh, we have other documentation that you can refer to um, that will tell you how to set this capacity value. But we're going to assume right now we're working with a one cubic foot water softener, in which case if we want to operate this in the most salt efficient settings possible, we will set this to a capacity of 20.0 times 1,000, so 20,000 grains capacity. Uh, hardness value, this is where you put in your local hardness value number, so uh, where I am it's 10 grains per gallon, so we're going to put 10, again this is in grains per gallon. Uh, if you have your water hardness value in either milligrams per liter or ppm, you can divide that number by 17.1 and that will give you the hardness in grains per gallon, which is what we want. RS, we want this to say SF for safety factor. The safety factor we want to choose is a 10% safety factor, so we want that to be 10. Day override. Uh, if you are on uh, well water and uh, there's uh, any iron in your well water, then you want the day override value to be set to 7. Uh, if you're on municipal water, uh, so city provided water where there is not iron, and you'll know if you have iron if there's any reddish brown staining that happens quite quickly in any of your white porcelain fixtures like your tubs or your toilets or your sinks. Um, in most municipalities, um, there is no iron or maybe a trace, and you can bump the day override out to 21 days. Regeneration time. Um, this is a metered softener, so it only regenerates based on uh, the amount of water that you use. But when it does decide to regenerate, this is where you tell it what time of day you'd like it to regenerate. And you typically want to choose a time um, where you're not expecting to use water. Uh, if the softener is regenerating, you can still use water, it just won't be softened. So for most people, the ideal time is in the middle of the night, so the default is 2 a.m., but you can set it to any time you like. So we'll leave it at 2 a.m. and press enter. The regeneration process takes uh, about 90 minutes, by the way. Uh, so our first backwash, backwash 1, is at 10. We press enter. Uh, our brine draw is 60 minutes. Um, we want to leave that at 60 minutes. That's a very important number, so we press enter. Backwash 2 is going to be set to 5 minutes, press enter. The rapid rinse is set to 10, we press enter. Uh, brine fill. The brine fill value, again, is going to be dependent on the size of softener you've got, and you can refer to the other documentation um, to figure out exactly what size, or sorry, what the brine fill time should be for the size of softener you've got. We're going to leave this one at 12. Um, FM is the type of turbine. Uh, in this case, believe it or not, that's a lowercase t, or it's supposed to be. We want this to be t 1.2. We press enter. And for these last two values, we want them both set to off. RE is off, and VR is off. Uh, that gets us back out to the time. So we press and hold the up or the down arrow to now set the clock to the actual time. 
right now here it's 1245. So we'll set that to 1245. We'll press enter. And now we're going to toggle between the number of gallons before the next regeneration and the time of day.